not like it's brown. Okay, y'all ready? Come on. Let me see behind your shirt. Hold on. Lash queen. Shasta Ray and I am back for another personal vlog, you guys. I'm getting like real good with these vlogs, y'all. I have more personal vlogs than you know. But I do like to show you guys the real. So right now, I'm super excited. It is after Thanksgiving, and I have a real, 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 real taste for some seafood. So of course, I ordered me some and um in my hometown we got this place called the sauce and it's other locations as well um and i just like to give me a bag crab legs potatoes um shrimp you know just a small bag um and it is really good guys and i'm sitting here and i'm watching lip service and i'm just chilling on this nice saturday afternoon and you know so yeah <laughs> i thought i may get on here for a minute and just mess with you guys um i'm gonna be uploading something else momentarily you guys and i'm gonna show you my my seafood okay i'm sitting in my bedroom you guys this is so good i'm gonna just chop down on it um and while i'm here guys you know what we gonna have a little fun i'm gonna do a little story time with y'all okay so i'm gonna try to um move this this uh thing back and so we, we we gonna talk about it okay okay y'all this is like real like just casual okay and prime to okay story time um i just thought about this y'all like listen first of all disclaimer don't mind my smacking don't mind how I'm eating because I'm finna throw down, okay? I've been waiting on this seafood all day, okay? Now, since we starting this story time, y'all, the lesson of the day is make sure you get to know who y'all are messing with. Don't mess with nobody who, like, I'm not going to say don't mess with nobody because everybody deserves a chance, but just watch out for emotionally unsafe stable men okay like, so you guys you know i went through a lot and have gone through a lot when it comes to love and so at this particular time i was talking to somebody that was just like they wasn't giving me no energy and when you're not getting what you want from the person you want it from sometimes you get it from other places but it don't necessarily have to be sexual it can just be wanting attention um wanting to be talked to um and things of that matter okay um you guys i'm watching lip service well, lip service is on and it's featuring money bag yo and uh i think uh monetta shaw Neil's baby's mother, so these are two good people. So if you know what's going on in the background, that's it. But however, you really have to pay attention with who you're dealing with, you all, because you don't know what their history was and how they're going to react to certain situations. You need to know that just in case you're in a situation. A lot of people are not headstrong like you may be and that's what i have learned through certain situations or situations where i think a person wouldn't do that and they did have to understand everybody is not mentally stable but it is important if you do got a good head on your shoulders to be um emotionally intelligent and they also teach that in college as well however i was dealing with this guy um very nice but nerdy, not the best looking, and emotionally unstable. And you guys, like, I knew to be careful, but I didn't think that he was so emotionally un un 
unstable. And it got really bad, guys, you know, because he was just the type who he, 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 he was straight, but he had female friends and he had female tendencies. So he would just do female things. I mean, he would pop up at my house. I remember it was raining one night and, you know, I think he thought I had somebody else over. Now, however, the name of the game is I'm single, so I could do what I want. However, he thought this, and it was raining, came all the way on the other side of town, went to the window where my apartment is at, and proceeded to call my name like he was a five-year-old child. You know what I'm saying? Like, very embarrassing, you guys. And story time, I just speed up and get to the point, okay? So... What I'm going to tell you guys is make sure you talk to the person, find out their background, find out what's going on with them, why they are the way that they are, how they handle stress. Ask these questions. These questions are not corny because you will find out some information and that information will be contingent upon if you want to deal with the situation or not. So believe me when I say with this small story time, pay attention. And women, you don't owe a man anything. A man, you don't owe a woman anything. If it's something, if it's not consensual and you guys didn't agree, no, you don't owe each other anything. Okay? But if you're going with the flow, you're going with the flow. Whatever you give is what you give. But we will not take and we do not owe. Okay? So, really be careful with that, you guys. Um, <laughs> I just, something just told me to let you guys know that. And like I said, um, you'll be fine. You know, just get to know the person that you're talking to and you're dating. Now, anywho. I need to get back to eating, okay? Because I can't multitask for some reason. All right, you guys. This is Shasta Lorraine logging off. See you guys later. Bye.